Hi friends, welcome to Macrox. Today we will discuss the projections of solids. A hexagonal pyramid, base 25 mm side and axis 50 mm long, has one of its slanted on the ground. Draw its projections. The given hexagonal pyramid, base 25 length, axis 50 mm, one of its slanted is on the ground. Hexagonal pyramid contains six slanted edges. One should be on the HV, ground means origin plane. Draw its projections. You take HV. In the HV, you will get top. First, you draw a top. First, you draw the XY line. Next, you draw a one ardent line. Why? They given one slanted than the ground. When one slanted than the ground, first you take the ardent line. Half length, 2.5 cm. Then you draw the one more side also. At an angle of 120 degrees. This angle is the 120 degrees. The length of this one also 2.5. Similarly, you draw one more side. This angle is 120. The length of this one is the 2.5. Like this, you draw the remaining sides also. And name it as A, B, C, D, E, F. Then you have to locate the slant edges. Okay. In the, this is a pyramid, you have to locate the slant edges. Join the A, D, C, F, B. Okay. These are the slant edges. The intersection of this point is the O. F, X. Then you draw the from O. Then we have draw the axis line here. The length of axis is 5.5 cm. You, you should draw the from the xy line. Why? One slant edge on the ground. From xy you draw a axis line of length 5.5 cm. And name it as O dash. Then you draw the position from A, B, F, C, D. This is A. This is, this is A dash. This is the B, F. This is B dash, F dash. This is C dash, E dash. This is the D dash. Then you join the O dash with the A dash. O dash with the B dash. O dash with the C dash. O dash with the D dash. Then you draw the A to D dash. Like this. Then we have to satisfy this condition. One of slant edges on the ground. Then you have to rotate this slant edge. This O dash, this dash. On X, Y line. You take O dash somewhere. Rotate this, this length here. The length of this one is equal to this one. The length of this slanted is equal to this one. And here is the D dash. This O dash D dash is equal to this O dash D dash. Then we have to look at the A dash. O dash to A dash as the radius. And O dash as the center. Diana. This is the radius. O dash to A dash. And this is the center. Similarly, you take the A dash to D dash as the radius. And D dash as the center. Draw one more. Like this. This is the A dash. Then you join the A dash D dash. O dash A dash. Like this. Join the A dash with O dash. A dash with the D dash. Similarly, you take the D dash to B dash distance. Draw an arc. This is the B dash F dash. D dash to B dash distance equal to D dash to B dash distance. Then you join the B dash with the O dash. Similarly, look at the axis point also. Like this. Then you draw the axis line. Then D dash to C dash. Name it as C dash, E dash. Then join with the O dash. Like this to draw the same this triangle here. This one and this one is the equal. Then we draw the projection from this parent view. From D dash, from C E, from a axis line, from B dash F dash, from A dash, from O dash also. Then you draw the axis projection line by this one also. EF a D B C. This is the A line. This is the A line. This is the A. Similarly, this is the B line. This is the B line. This is the B. And this is the C. This is the D line. This is the D line. This is the D. And this is the E. And this is the F. And this is the O. Next, join the a, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, A. Join the O, A, O, F, O, B. Like this. Okay. Thank you for watching my video.